Okay, man, I'm actually a first year. I'm a fresh year at Bits and um, I've got mad love, mad support from uh, what, 30,000 students. So, um, yeah, they also kind of help me with the pushing. And I guess when I'm at school, I'm a different person from, you know, Gigi the Main. Gigi the Main is an entity on her own. So, when I'm at school, I'm like Gigi, but you know, I'm, uh, I think it also helps with the balancing of stuff, you know. Um, I focused on taking subjects in school that I felt would be compatible with what I want to do in the future. And that's basically the hip hop culture, music culture, and all that. So I believe when I when you love something, there shouldn't be an excuse of you not being able to balance it. Because the truth is there'll be that day when you can't study, let's say politics or mathematics, for example, and you just feel like writing. So take that time to write. If it's something you love, you will make, I assure you, you will make time to do it regardless of what anyone or any, you know, I mean last year was my, my hype year. I'm not sure about this year, but last year was my hype year. Everyone's was talking about this little girl can spit and um, I managed to do it and pass the trick. So, I mean, with a little bit more effort, I think I'll be able to cruise through the market, you know? yeah, Cool, and, and um, yeah, who inspires you? Artists do up to Okay, um, I used to be very underground, and I know this is cliche, but I love immortal technique. Um, a lot of people, I don't know, I love him for his revolutionary um, ideology, but at the same time, I really admire people like Bob Marley. Um, I admire people like Bahamalia, the female you know, rapper who came up in the game. And, no, she's just really different, you know, even when you listen to her now. Um, I admire Brenda Fuzzy, she's, oh, she's amazing. Just the performance and, you know, there's certain things that I admire from different people. And when it's fused together, I think that's what makes Chichi the Man. That's what makes the class sound, the circus cafe behind Chichi the Man. So, um, I'm not limited to it's like a hip hop artist. Oh, Eminem is a big one. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the, the word play, you know, the times that, um, I don't, I don't know if you want to know, but um, my favorite line was um, I scared you with the sharpest knife, I can grab, come back the next week and be able to scare. That was the first one, and I was like, girl, oh, I want to get really graphical with my life. So, I mean, in different things that, that attract me from artists, but it's, it's, yeah, it's basically a lot of inspiration. Yeah, speaking of like, I have all your songs, like, which, which line do you think is like your signature line? Like, it's really out of all your songs. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite simple. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hating on the main old cheese. You know, like, give me to my thing, you do your thing, but at the end of the day, it's not to my thing, you know, go the other way. Um, yeah. Hating on the main old cheese, you too. That's what Black and Blue is. Yeah, one of the upcoming hit tracks. <laughs> and how do, you, um, how do you, like, prepare for your performance? It's like, do you like to go into some space? Like, you know, okay. Like, how is it? Yeah, how does that come about? But how does the um, you know, first when I open my say, all the oh, she's so small, oh, she's so cute, right? She's just in the main. No, I get a lot of that. But um, I've, I've got this, I've got this motto going for myself that um, the devil himself hears me. And as soon as I step up to that, I'm able to lose it on stage completely. Like, Little girls running from that corner to that corner, and I just—I don't know. It's—it's it's just it's something. I actually believe I was born a performer, and it's—it's it's, it's something I enjoy more than the studio. So I have to kill it, not for the people sitting down there, but for myself. Because when I feel like I'm killing stuff and I'm doing my best, they feel it too. You know. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I love performance. I love performance. You get to see the artist um, as a separate entity from what you hear in the studio. Because the studio, somebody can sound really cocky, really, uh, wow, amazing. Then performance-wise, you're like, is this what I'm really paying for? Yeah, yeah. So you get to see the uh, artist on an extroversial level, if I put it like that. And yeah, last question. I think this is like the most important question for any artist. Like, what what do you want, what, do, what are you hoping to achieve through your music? Like, why are you? doing this thing like I think that's the most important question everyone should ask themselves like why am I doing this like what are you hoping to achieve?